just going to spray this with some non-stick cooking spray. I want to get my peaches into some sugar. Now these are just frozen and thawed peaches. And I'm going to need just about a half a cup of brown sugar. Just a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of vanilla. Great, wonderful flavor. And then two tablespoons of cornstarch. And what this does is really thicken up the filling in your cobbler. And wait till you see what I'm gonna use on the top of my cobbler. Very smart, very easy. And most everyone I know has this in their refrigerator. But first, stir this all together. That brown sugar and vanilla makes this nice and caramely and beautiful. All right, into the skillet this goes. All this flavor, and I like making it in one of these old skillets, but certainly you could make it in a pie tin or whatever you have would be absolutely fine. Love cast iron though. I've got a super great idea for the top of this shortcake with something you already have in your fridge. These, of course, are just those big oversized biscuits, and there's a very simple way to doll them up and make them nice and sweet. But before I do that, I just wanna get some cream cheese, because it's peaches and cream, onto my shortcake. Little tiny spoonfuls of cream cheese are gonna add a nice, wonderful, creamy, elegant taste and texture to my peaches. Those big biscuits are gonna cover the top of this beautifully. Just give it a nice little, and roll them out. Now into some sugar, this is a quarter of a cup by the way, I just wanna put a little bit of cinnamon, just about a teaspoon, and give that a stir. And then you're gonna dredge your biscuits in the sugar and the cinnamon. Of course, if you wanted to, you could just put these right on the top and then sprinkle all of the cinnamon and sugar on top of that. But the bottom part of these biscuits is gonna soak up all the wonderful juice and it's gonna infuse them with great flavor. <laughs> the last one goes right in the center and then all this I'm just gonna sprinkle over the top. This is gonna caramelize and be nice and crunchy. Great recipe and of course, if you wanted to do cherry filling or anything at all, you certainly could. The shortcake goes into the oven, 350 degrees, about 20, 25 minutes. Just keep your eye on it. Look, this is bubbling hot. Woo, careful with that. Oh, look, beautiful. All that peach and caramely wonderfulness. I gotta let it cool down before I eat it.